Uh, is it over for Twitch with Asmin? Okay. I guess Aiden Ross is leaving. I don't know though. So Aiden Ross said this. I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this. I'm going to kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports, mm -hmm. watching movies, prank phone calls, doing unlimited. We can literally watch porn together. I could jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still celibate. But if I wanted to, we can do whatever the fuck we want. There's no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want. There are terms of service, but yeah. My chat, nobody can get fucking banned. If you, listen, if you love people and I don't, no, no, fuck that. If you, if you believe some shit and you want to type that shit, say what the fuck you want. I'll still stream on Twitch. Yeah, so Aiden's moving over to Kick. He's going to stream on Kick. I mean, like, let's say this. I think that's just a matter of time until Kick gets big enough to where they will be legally liable for things on it. Because that's the main reason why Twitch does its things. It's not because they actually give a shit. It's they don't want to be sued or be held liable. That's right. He's getting banned. Watch. Uh, well, I mean, if they ban Aiden, the problem is that here's the thing is if, if they ban Aiden Ross, a lot of other people in his community, like, obviously it doesn't, it's not like Kai is going to immediately go over there or something like that. But if they ban enough of those people, that whole community, they'll, they'll lose that whole community and they'll just yeah. all move over to kick. Yeah. So like fair. Twitch knows that. And like, to be honest, the W community is probably the best thing that happened to Twitch in the last two years, besides COVID. COVID was also very good for Twitch. But since COVID, the W community was the best thing that could have happened. Uh, the reason why is it brings in a completely new audience. It totally changes the demographics of the platform. It makes it to where advertising towards younger people is much more effective, yep. effective and efficient. It totally helps Twitch in a massive way because yep, it actually exactly. grows their viewer base in a way that they didn't have before. Not Twitch kick, maybe not banned, but Train will have to tell them to behave. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and this is the thing, right? So I saw Aiden Ross was obviously like streaming the Super Bowl and doing all kinds of other stuff. Explain the W community. Uh, the W community. So this is like a term that's just I like was refer thinking what he was talking about. I assumed like, well, let's see what he says, because in my head, I was honestly thinking like influencer, like young for the younger heard to. It means like uh, uh, Bruce, Kai, Aiden uh your age who am i thinking of besides that speed yeah speed oh speed's not on twitch speed's banned uh sneeko uh i don't know i think sneeko's doing his own thing kind of phantom i don't know who phantom is i'll have to look into that yeah i'm not sure so loud equals funny. Uh, there's plenty of people in our community who thinks loud equals funny too. They don't have a monopoly on that. But uh, anyway, yeah. So that's basically what the W community is. So these are people that are, um, you know, in general, like an actual younger audience. Because you've got to keep in mind, right? A lot yeah. of the people that started on Twitch whenever they were the same age as the W community, that was 10 years ago. So now they're, you know, 27. Uh, now they're 31. They're, they're thinking about like buying a mortgage. So you have like all these new 16 year olds, yeah. new 17 year olds that are coming in and like, they're not going to be real able to relate to somebody who's like, you know, 28 years old and they're worried about like a car payment or they're worried about like a mortgage or they're going to have a kid. They want to see somebody and watch somebody who's their own age. So that's why obviously like Kai, your age, and I don't know how old your age is, but I know like obviously Kai, Aiden and Bruce, they're, they're young guys. And that's what they appeal to is more young guys. So that's what the W yep, community kind of sense. is. And they're, you know, more into like sports and just like the traditional, you know, everyday things that average American people are into, not necessarily like. I mean, is it this, is this really it? Like this is whole video is just about how Aiden Ross um, is starting to broadcast on Kick. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Kick's a fine platform. I just think that, and really the only reason I do, I'm even streaming on Twitch is it was easier to download the videos after recording, honestly. Like, after doing the stream, it was just easier than YouTube. Um, not that it's hard or anything like that, but I don't know. Like, maybe I'll check Kick out. Sounds like you can do whatever you want, and taking advantage of that early on seems like a better idea. But at the same time, it's like, it's not like my 
I'm a big streamer, so I don't think it matters too much. But I think I think it's only a matter of time until Kick does have to actually do what Twitch does, which is you can't allow your users to do certain things because you are now held liable for it. Like video game memes, 4chan, etc. So that's kind of what the W community is, just for anybody who doesn't really know that, isn't familiar with it, etc. Basically normies, I, I like them a lot. I think they're great. So I, I don't have anything bad to say about them whatsoever. I don't whatsoever. really watch their stuff. Uh, at least not as a community. Obviously, Yeah, I don't think it's bad, but it's just not my, not my thing. Obviously, people make mistakes, but that's not the community. That's the people. So anyway, um, at a certain point, if Twitch bans all of the W community, they will just simply go somewhere else. That's just what's going to happen. Yeah, it'd be stupid to ban them, especially just because they're going to another platform. And if if Twitch bans Aiden and or Kai, because Aiden and Kai are the two biggest viewership like uh, drivers to the website or to that community, then other people will go where they go because the viewership will trickle down and affect those people. Yep. It's, exactly. it's, it's kind of like building an ecosystem is that if these people who are the people that bring viewers to the website go somewhere else, then everybody else will follow them inside of that small community. Yeah, but it has to be, and this is what, like, the whole, um, who was it, Ninja? Like, you can't be the only one. You There has to be, like, an exodus of it. Like, everyone has to go. Because you have to rebuild the environment, in a sense. If they leave, or it doesn't matter? Ecosystem, I should say. You think it doesn't matter? You're crazy, man. Like, uh, it absolutely, yeah. What's your take yeah. on rumors of Twitch merging with uh, Amazon delivery? Yeah, it, it totally matters. Yeah, this is like millions of people leaving the platform to a competitor. Yeah. And not only, like, Kick has a massive competitive advantage against Twitch. And For do you want to know what that yep. is? It's that Kick doesn't have a bunch of ads. You don't have to sit through and watch a bunch of ads. You can just go to the website, click on a stream, and watch the stream. Oh, yet? No, that's it pretty doesn't. cool. And, and I didn't know that. Everything is yet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, why is that? And uh, right now they don't. Yeah, exactly. Isn't the content the ad? Well, I'm saying like compared to Twitch. Like Ninja left Twitch and made it successfully. Uh, Ninja Ninja's channel was already dying. I mean, that, that's really the truth. If you look at Ninja's growth, uh, like, look, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick. Um, I wasn't paying attention to that kind of stuff, so let me just... Mm. Yeah, that makes sense, just so, based on the graph. Like, I understand some people might want to come in and, you know, like, have their, you know, their, two, their take about how, you know, like, how I'm actually wrong about this and, like, try to bring up some counterpoint or whatever. No, like if you're going to argue graphs, you're not going to win against Asmund. Please educate yourself before you do so. Don't just come up with the, the, the first thing that comes to mind that sounds good, that makes you, you know, this is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be able to get him in this too. Yeah, so just just please try try to think think things through a little bit more. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, Shell died because he went from being ninja, trash talking, playing games, to his corporate clean cut, no swearing gamer. It was a huge shame. No, he didn't, because he was... This is what made him... Like, you are so crazy. This is why he got super popular. He got he super mainstream. popular because he was very clean cut. He yep. got super popular because he was actually, like, a really, you know, a, like, a, a really, like, family-friendly person. Like, this is whenever he wasn't doing that. And then whenever his audience got bigger, he did that. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe PG for the kiddos. Exactly. Got banned for his chat because the moderator got offended that I was writing long paragraphs. Well, I don't know what it is. You I mean, saying the same thing over and over. What the? F maybe he didn't like long paragraphs because as a moderator, you're just trying to be quick about it and you're like writing these damn paragraphs. So I, I guess but, maybe. Well, the reason why is because people are programmed to think something and the current programming or that the programming is more important than the reality. Even whenever they're confronted with a graph that directly disproves somebody's opinion, they will come up with a reason why that's not true. Yeah, uh, that's what it is. No one wants to be wrong. And so, yeah, the NPCs, basically. 
Well, anyway, let me get back to kick. I'm, I'm completely going off on a tangent. Ninja doesn't really matter. The point is that, and, and this is also what I said before, is that the W community, what did I say? Why did I say that Mixer was not successful? I said Mixer was not successful because Mixer was able was not able to bring over an ecosystem. Yeah. The it W community is a much tree, smaller ecosystem. And that's it. So it would be a lot easier to bring viewers over from the W community than bring viewers over from the holistic Twitch ecosystem. You see what I'm saying? Let's see here. And uh, more info. And uh, I actually responded to this. I'm so excited to see how it plays out. Honestly, hoping Kick does, does well. It's better for both streamers and viewers uh, for there to be more competition in the live streaming space. So uh, there's yeah. a few posts. I think there was one on a live stream fail about this. Let me see if I can find it. And uh, where is it? I'm kind of wondering what this, kick. why okay, this so video is so that. long. I think I already watched that. Permanently full time going there. I want okay, so we'll watch all three of them. We'll go through it all the way. Okay, so it's just me. So what's Twitch like willing to do to thing? make sure people okay. don't leave? Sacrifice their integrity somehow? Yes, absolutely. Many of the W streamers have blatantly broke the TOS in the most obvious way, intentionally and repeatedly. Yeah. And Twitch has done nothing about it. Because Twitch doesn't want to lose the community. Exactly. Twitch cares about integrity until integrity costs more than money. Then they care about money, just like every other company. Don't let them fool you. Yep. Let's see here. We'll watch the three of these. What the fuck? Just because the TOS is absurd doesn't mean integrity is at stake. That's bullshit. Uh, it absolutely is, and I'll explain why. So if you have a rule and you're applying the rule to one person, but you don't apply the rule to another person, then it calls into question your integrity. Yep. This isn't rocket science. I'm not trying to, I'm not, we're not, we're not trying to fly to Mars here. Okay. It's very simple, common sense logic. Here we go. I'm not permanently full-time going there. I want to feel it out, and I want to make sure my community fucks with it, too. So I'll still stream on Twitch if that's what you guys want. But what I will say is this. I'm going to kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports. I'll just go through all three of them. Watching movies. We saw Frank a phone calls. Bit doing unlimited... We can literally watch porn together. I could jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still celibate. But if I wanted to, we could do whatever the fuck we want. There is no terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you Read want in my chat. chat. Nobody can get fucking banned. W -W -W. You, listen, I'm not permanently full-time going. Bro, the people, they're loving this. Yeah. They're absolutely fucking loving this. They are so happy. Look at this. Free Top G. Aiden, we love you. Oh, shit. Did you manage to, be, uh, to visit Andrew? It's the Roth... Fields. Oh, it's. I, 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 he clearly. Look, some of the people on Twitch can't really spell it. He clearly means it's the Rothschilds, right? Yeah. But it's the Rothschilds. Yeah. That's what he meant to say. Prank phone calls. Doing unlimited. They lo they're loving it. Now, obviously, like, this is just one person spamming. We can literally watch porn together. I can jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still selling. But all I'm really trying to get out here is that, like, if you look at the community reception to his announcement, it is pretty much universally positive. Yeah. People are very positive about this. With well, a lot of people don't even really like Twitch with the amount of, like, ads they do. So. Aiden moving over. Makes sense. Let's take a look at the next one. If they elect the president, I'll put Kool-Aid in the water fountains. Yeah, there you go. All right, here's another one. Illegal stuff, let's go. Bro, what do you think? A 15-year-old cares about what's legal or illegal? They don't give a fuck. Like, how many of you guys watch bum fair, fights whenever you were people, a kid? Yeah, that's also there, but to be fair, most people just don't care about that stuff. Because it's not like you're doing the illegal thing to begin with. Just entertainment. Me? Okay. There you go. You probably don't watch it anymore, but you did back then. 
bum fights is a thousand times worse than prank phone calls or jerking off on on camera yeah that's like very a thousand true. times worse so we're in no position to criticize the new generation here we can admit yes it is wrong but let's not pretend like this is let's not pretend like we don't know where this is coming from or that we didn't do it or like we can say yes this it. is a bad thing it's wrong you shouldn't do it but let's not pretend like oh wow oh the humanity i can't believe this exactly here we go that was some of the biggest content back in the day um collaboration with speed Gideon. Mm -hmm. collaboration with speed and Gideon. live sports your whole community follows live sports my whole community and he's talking to kai this is uh aiden trying to convince kai to move over to twitch you mean kick nba nfl whatever you want live oh, sorry i'll move over to kick Excuse movie me. night yeah. um movie night. movies you can watch you can watch vendors rush hour all that stuff okay. um omega Omega, like, I control. On Omega. Okay, on Omega, okay. Yeah. Prank phone calls. I so I could prank you. You could literally call up if you wanted, like, a, a random a random person restaurant. Be like, hey, like, um, I'm on the toilet right now, taking a shit, like, come clean it up. It just, that was, that was ass. I can literally fuck on stream. If you wanted to, Kai, you could have okay. bitches with their titties out. Now, I don't condone that. It's haram. You could do whatever the fuck you want. But... <laughs> You can do whatever the <laughs> fuck you want. Yes. I saw you chill with Damn, that one girl, dude, uh, Violet. Like, if I had the hose, like, you know how you, how you have the hose? Like, if, if yeah. So, yeah, he's trying to get him in there. He's immediately and so, like, yeah, I wouldn't do think anything? they could stream movies for very I mean, long. I get girl, like, so what do you think about there? the like, W stuff what? moving away? Isn't it uh, that positive for you as you move over it. as an established streamer? Oh, I don't really give a shit. I think a lot of the Kai viewers and Aiden viewers, it, it it's not like... You know, after Aiden Ross goes online, they, they want to tune in to a nice, cozy Zach Rar stream where I'm farming, a, a you know, a, tr a pair of transmog uh, boots that are older than they are. I'm sorry, True. but, like, I'm not going to get a lot of yeah. overflow viewers from this. It's just not going to happen. It's not. And look, that's just how it is. That's life. Copyright. Isn't copyright an issue? I have no idea. I, I, I feel like it is, yeah. It's crazy that, like, they're just letting them do that. It's absolutely insane because they've been streaming. Well, let me go and finish this one here, okay, and then I'll talk about it. I just want to we'll go through the clips before we can, you know, start actual commentary on this. Told me. They said, yo, like, <laughs> you know, you got to stop saying crazy shit, controversial. Like, it's just oh, oh, this is Aiden Ross talking about what Twitch told him. Aiden Ross is yeah. talking about a conversation that he had with Twitch. Me though, back when I was reading these comments, back when I used to push and like force these certain jokes, y'all were cool with it. But now I'm like kind of pushing this other shit, and motherfuckers want to find a way to take it down. And, and, and it's facts, bro. It's facts. Like I'm, I'm really trying to, you know, become a, a better version of myself and 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 show everyone that like it's possible to fucking be the best version of yourselves. I love all of you. I want everyone to be a fucking uh, a boss in this world and get rich as fuck and, and, and accomplish everything and conquer everything. And I've, and I've been really, really just trying to... True. You know, whenever Aiden said he thought the average salary was $100,000 a year, what he really meant to say was that he wishes the average salary was $100,000 a year. W's <laughs> for Aiden, boys. So true. Yeah. I put that shit in, 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 you know, into everyone's brains. And motherfuckers are still trying to find ways to bring me down. Um, And that's cool, you know, because... When you speak the truth, that's when you're, you know, when you, when you speak real shit, that's when, like, you're a target. It's true. Um, but that's, I'm not going to get to that corny fucking that. side of things. I'm going to just leave it at that. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, it's pretty obvious where he got that one from. Point is this. I'm at risk, but they told me they- I'm at risk, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I can see why. I'm in danger. So, yeah, uh, basically, this isn't really they're a surprise to, get to anybody. Uh, basically, what I'm thinking is going to- Just don't go to, uh... What was it? Bulgaria. Wherever you Yeah. <laughs> Just don't go out of the States, I guess, or wherever he's gonna happen is that Kick is going to have to go through some sort of and, and this is I'm not really sure what's gonna happen in, in this regard. Because obviously like Kick is I'm pretty sure it's sponsored or bankrolled by Stake. And Stake is a massively powerful company. They have billions of dollars. So like how to 
Yeah, but they're not bigger than Amazon. Like, how are you going to sue this company that is in some random country? What if that you can't sue them? Are you going to sue the streamers? Uh, is that possible? What is it? I'm not really sure. So what I think is probably going to happen, and this is what the outcome is going to be, is that I actually don't think that Kick is going to stop people from streaming copyrighted content because not even Twitch does that. And I think that ultimately companies will probably start, uh, you know, suing certain streamers if they're rebroadcasting something like the Super Bowl or something like that, because there's really no reason for for Kick to adhere to DMCA. There's no reason for them to do that because they're not beholden to U.S. law. It doesn't matter. What I'm pretty sure they are, though, if they have their services uh, in the U.S., unless because if you have to get a VPN to use Kick, I honestly think that service is not going to last that long. What what the U.S. law is, it could be anything. It doesn't make a difference as long as they can't get sued or arrested for it. It's all irrelevant. I can paint a picture of Congress banning it. Then you do need to use a VPN. You think Congress is going to go out of their way to ban uh, to ban this, but not other websites? I mean. Yeah, because they already do it with like Netflix. Like that was the whole like VPN um, sales point is that you have access to things that are normally restricted. There, there are there are a hundred more websites that are more harmful and dangerous than Kick, and none of them are banned. That's, that's just not going to happen. I mean, and and one big reason why is because that would require Congress to understand how the internet works. So. I disagree with Asmin here. I mean, I'm not disagreeing that there are worse sites. What I'm disagreeing is that the there is a money incentive for these companies to go after this uh, platform. So that's that's the difference. Is that they if they feel like they're losing money because of it, they are going to push for these things to pass. Because it doesn't matter what these old people who you know implement if they understand it, they're just getting paid to push. You know a ban for it which is the part that actually matters that's done that's not going to happen like it's just not going to happen like there it is yeah it's like if you think they're going to care on their own for their own like for the good of the people or whatever you want to call it they're not but if like they're doing like the super bowl that means like the nfl may get involved and they are a para powerhouse they're gonna have more than enough money to lawyer up picked on so. by tran Rex. tran says he doesn't own it i have no idea so yeah, uh, websites that stream pirated stuff get taken down daily. They do, but not whenever they have a massive website like Stake behind them. Uh, I think that Stake can obviously tie up these lawsuits for a long period of time. And you have to remember that Stake views Kick as being Stake, and this is all predicated on the assumption that Stake is owned, or sorry, Kick is owned by Stake. So all of this, Kick is a loss leader for them. Because it doesn't really matter whether Kick is successful or not to the people that own it. All that matters is that Kick, if it works as a pipeline into gambling, gambling yep. on their website. So as long as that happens, that's the only thing that really matters, and they can just make the money back. Some about U.S. law, it's fact U.S. government could freeze any cash connected to Kick. It's like how U.S. sanctions countries and secondary sanctioning to remove countries connected to U.S. financial system. Bro, there are a, a million websites in like China and Russia, like all of these these countries. They're not going to sanction a country because the country is streaming copyrighted stuff. It's just not going to happen. Like sanctions like this happen whenever there's like a massive human rights violation. They're like genociding people. And even then it usually doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's crazy. If you go on kick, a highest streamer consistently is a guy that's playing slots. Yes. And that's what I think it is. The government's not going to get involved. Yes, the government's not going to get involved with this. I, I, I do not think so. It's like a 1% chance. Yeah, no, it's not going to be the government. It is going to be uh, lawyers. I mean, if you look at like YouTube, like YouTube also takes that stuff serious. Twitch takes that stuff serious. It's for a reason. Like, I don't know why he keeps bringing up stake. Like, it's like this entity that is untouchable. It's like, no, Twitch has Amazon behind it. Like YouTube, what is it, Google, if I remember right? So it's like, it's not like these other platforms don't have these massive entities that can um, protect them. It's eventually, it's just not going to be worth it. Like, it's going to be too much. So yeah, like, Kick is going to be fine for a while, I would say, unless they try to, like, 
throw the streamers under the bus. I'm like, yeah, just go after them. Here's their information. Um, but even then, I don't think that's exactly what it would happen. It's just going to happen like Twitch. Like Twitch was like that for a while where you could just stream and do whatever you want. But as they get bigger and ads start coming into play, um, and not just ads, like, because ads really, let's be fair, it's not like advertisements really care about that stuff. Um, but when you're making enough money, like these companies are going to be like, wait a minute, who's making money off of our stuff? How much are they making? Why aren't we getting a cut of that pie? You know what I mean? I very well. Anyway. I don't like the video. Kick is, it's not about kick making money. It's about kick converting people to gamblers on stake. Yeah, that, that is, is the also goal. true. Okay. So if you yeah. only think about is kick making money or not, you're not seeing the bigger picture. The bigger picture is using kick as an advertisement, as a pipeline into gambling and using stake. That is what the goal is. For generation after pirate bay and pirating everything. Now people are bitching about the new generation. I don't get it. Nobody cares about copyright. People just care about seeing someone they don't like go down or get fucked up. Nobody really gives a shit. What do you think? If people care about the copyright of the NFL Super Bowl, nobody cares. Why is this matter? Why is this, who gives a fuck about this? Normal no, people, people don't. just don't like yep. Aiden or Kai. And so they just want to see them go down. They want to see them get fucked over. So they're like, oh, wow, this is copyright. Well, we can't have this. But meanwhile, they're pirating shows themselves. No, they don't really give a shit about it. Like, again, people, that, like, why do you ever try to find logic or, like, fucking uh, consistency in what people want? People are not consistent. The only thing people are consistent in is working towards their own best interest. And if you understand What's good what for their them. best interest exactly. is, they are never inconsistent. That's all there is to it. It's more like, yeah, because it's like the whole, um, the inconsistencies is like only towards other people. If they like a person, they're going to let things slide. If they don't like a person, they're like, oh, all of a sudden I now have morals, even though I don't even follow these uh, morals myself. Yeah, the community that foster is AIDS, though. All oh, people say that about us. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't, that's... Yeah, you hear that about almost any big community. Like, Hassan, like, I've heard bad things about his community. I've never watched his stuff, but it's not because of the bad things I've seen, like, clips of his, and I don't particularly find him entertaining. So it's just more, he's just not in consecrated for me. I've never thought badly of him, though. Um, I don't believe in people's like sayings like, oh yeah, you're um you have a bad community or something like that. The only times I kind of believe it is when the creator themselves are like act actively uh trying to spread hate. You know what I mean? Like um the whole act man and uh whatever his name is, I don't even remember anymore. Um, with the Elden Ring bad takes. Like that guy. And again, your value judgment of the community that's nice okay but it doesn't really matter exactly yeah it doesn't no one cares. Really matter like they're still gonna the community doesn't care and the creator they doesn't go out care. and do their own thing yep mm. i mean this community doesn't spam swords and swastikas there's just a bunch of edgy stupid fucking kids yeah you gotta remember like like the w community that asman was talking about like they're freaking Teenagers just and under, pretty much. Like, there's not really a lot to it. Edgy, stupid kids, a few unhinged racists, and that's it. Yep. Nobody cares about NFL copyrights? Yeah. I think that's true. I don't think anybody here that's upset that Aiden Ross is streaming the, the Super Bowl, I don't think any of them actually... No, I think a lot of people care in that it should be just available. Not should be, I don't know if that, that's the right word, but... I think in an ideal world, at least from a, um, a viewer standpoint, like watching your uh, favorite streamer, uh, you know, you know, doing um, what's what I'm looking for, uh, movie nights, I guess. But like, yeah, movie night with like your favorite movie or anime or whatever it may be. Like, just not having to worry about copyright. We care. I think they are just caring because they don't like him. Like the whole Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually don't think nobody nobody gives a shit. We're free to enjoy the misfortune of others, only natural human behavior. Once again, just what I said. 
If you don't care about copyright, look at AI art and how no one gives a fuck. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. So anyway, yeah. uh, I just find it funny. He thinks no TOS equals illegal things aren't illegal. Um, yeah, I mean, like prank phone calls. I think that's not very cool. Uh, not a fan of that. Uh, I don't care if people are jerking off on stream. It doesn't matter to me. It's completely irrelevant. Uh, let's see. Uh, streaming movies. I I'm very curious, as I said, to see how this evolves. Uh, I, I, I really just I just want to see what happens, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Let's go back. I'll uh, I'll read the rest of these uh, these comments. Uh, streamers only care about banning slots because they don't like train. I think there are some streamers that felt the same way that they disliked slots because they disliked train, and so they wanted to ban slots because they didn't like train. Of course, that's true. There are other people who actually don't like gambling. As I've said before, I don't think gambling should be on the platform. I've been very outspoken about that for a long period of time. I think it's harmful to not only the content creators, but also the, uh, uh, the viewers. And so, yes, uh, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's conducive to making the website better. So, yeah, not a fan of gambling. Let's see. I don't mind gambling if it's, like, obviously in a casino and because even in like you got to remember like casinos like they don't even allow kids or underage people near these machines like they have a carpeted area uh where you can't just be loitering like you you can walk like through it but you can't just stand there being ne standing next to a machine so it's like not even a case of you playing on it you can't even be freaking near them like it's fine if adults want to do it that's your choice you're an adult do whatever you want but it shouldn't be a case where um they get to stream it on, like, where kids are involved. See here, it might be a bigger issue if you're making money off the copyright. Most people don't download illegally, don't make money from it. Um, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, I still don't think that people really give a shit, to be honest. But, um, yeah, overall, I think that the reason why they care that this person is making money is because they're jealous that that person is making money and they're not. Yeah. Yep. It's actually that simple. I have a very simple, like, I... I apply a principle to pretty much everything that I use for my whole life is that the simplest answer is probably the correct one. The simplest and most obvious answer is probably that's the reason why. Now, there are some exceptions why that, when that's not true, but I think that in general, it is. Isn't that a valid point when people use Twitch to watch yep. people they like? Yeah. It really doesn't matter if people pirate. The rich will buy enough and sustain those who sell. Sure. Inter and I think a lot of people actually have that mentality against uh, Asmin. Like, the fact that he makes a whole bunch of money and they don't share, like, he's not just really into their views. Like, it just makes him even more... Makes them hate him even more. Interestingly, Stake is not an owner of Kick. However, Stake's owner is an investor. Well, of course not, because they have shell companies and other types of subsidiaries that they use to disperse their level of, uh, of uh, what do you call it, uh, of liability. Yes, of course. Yep, that makes sense. A lot of companies do that. I don't know what Aiden is yammering on about. They have a DMCA policy listed on their site. Yeah, they just don't enforce it, probably. Yeah, so th that's it. My personal morality around copyright is I have no problem with downloading content. If I was otherwise not going to pay it, no one is harmed. Therefore, there's no moral issue. Well, I don't really care. I mean, like, again... No one cares about the moral um, argument with that. Because you're going to do what you want to do. You know what I mean? You want to get... A movie without paying it, a game without paying for it, you're gonna do that. It's not about morals. It's just if if it's easy enough and you want to do it, then you're gonna do it. Again, I don't care if people steal things, but please don't steal something and tell me that you're doing a good thing. This is the yeah. one thing that I fucking hate is that people that they steal something from Walmart, they steal something from CVS or Target, and they act like, oh, it's because it's this big company and I'm stealing from this big company and I'm actually the right. Nah, bro, you just want the thing. Steal it if you want, but steal it with a smile and don't try to fucking hoodwink me into thinking that you're not stealing. Yeah. You're not Robin Hood. You're just Robin Yeah, you're trying to justify your action. It's like, why do you need to do that? Robin. You did it because you wanted it. That's it. All right, um, there's a lot rest of this video. Like, I, I might skip some. Like, I'm noticing I'm having to, like, skip some because I feel like these videos are, like, kind of going on tangents. I don't really have anything to do with it. Let's see. Yeah, it's just, like, justifying. Yeah, and, and again, to me, like, I have no problem with, uh, with stealing. I don't care, right? It's whatever. Uh, if somebody's going to do what they're going to do. 
Uh, yeah, obviously, we exactly. can't have a world where everybody steals, so it has to be against the rules. It has to be against the law, exactly. People are going to steal if they're going to steal, but by making it against the law, you can't, it's not ever going to get, well, it may get to a bad point, but at least it never gets to like a point where no one can have anything without having like a gun or something. But I'm not going to lose my mind if it happens because people are just going to do what they want to do. That's yep. just all there is to it. It's not stealing because no one was deprived of anything. And pirated. It is stealing. It's a movie. If every single person, like, let's say a new movie comes out, every single person pirates the movie. Exactly. It is stealing. Then those people who would have bought it, it doesn't apply. What an idiot. Then those are people who would have bought it, and it doesn't apply. That's such a dumb argument. What? Like, I think what they're saying is... um it's fine to steal it because people are going to buy it and they're the those people are, are the um, because those people are buying it it's okay for me to steal it it's the fucking dumbest argument amazing logic so so you only steal things you, you only pirate things that you wouldn't buy oh my god oh, oh my is that god the argument? We're really that's gonna even go, worse. Yeah, this is this is the same fucking stupid shit that is crazy. You wouldn't download a car. Yeah, you'd only sell one copy of everything. Why would anybody buy something if there's a free alternative for it? I don't understand. Yep. That's why MMOs, like almost all of them, are coming out free to play. Because why would you pay for a subscription if you can just play this free MMO? So if somebody says, hey, we, you can have this for $10 or you can get it for free. Is 3D printing stealing? I think that's a very complex topic. I don't think it's stealing. I do think that um, if it's a copyrighted um, object, then that is bad. But there's nothing wrong with you making your own shit with your tools that you have available to you. You know what I mean? Like if you want to make a chair, you can make a chair. That doesn't mean you're stealing from a furniture store. But, uh, like, at the end of the day, if every single person pirates something, then it can no longer exist. Like, if every single person was using Adblock on YouTube, YouTube would cease to exist. The word stealing is irrelevant to me. The, the, real, the, the effect of it is that the websites that you are using would cease to exist if everybody did that. Exactly. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, okay. So then you can see why it's bad. All right, good. Uh, unless, unless of course you think that you're special and you have a unique, uh, you, you have an unique, a unique allowance to break the rules with impunity that nobody else does, because you're special. Are you special? <laughs> this whole chat's like, I am. Um, no, oh, well, I didn't think funny. so. Okay, good. All right, so I'm glad we have that conversation. Anyway, excited to see where Kit goes. I don't know what's going to happen, but I am kind of surprised to see people like Aiden Ross moving over. Uh, hopefully it's good for him. I think more competition in the streaming space is good, and it I will agree. be better for viewers and also for streamers. So Absolutely. that's what I think. I don't really care about the copyrights of this kind of stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, none, none of this shit really matters. All I care about really is the content, and I think everybody else who pretends like they're caring is only saying this in order to use it as a vehicle to hate on somebody who they already don't like. So that or they're just jealous of them. So that's what I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious. Well, I guess that works in the same way jealousy, hatred. Curious to see if other people move over or not. Uh, Kick obviously has a lot of money. People said they paid Aiden Ross $150 million. I don't think that they did, but I do think they paid him at least millions of dollars. So it's very easy to say that, oh, I'd never move over. It's a lot harder to say whenever you give people money. Yep. There's no content on Twitch because you can't say anything. That's not milk toast. You're right. And there are a lot of people that love watching edgy content. And that was the point yes. that I made with Bump Fights is that there is always a new generation of edgy 16-year-olds that want to watch the most degenerate, awful, bad content that ignores all Shit social like mores, yep. all different types of good society, uh, you know, practices, everything. And they Oh, I didn't mean to actually click that. Seeing the bigger picture. 
the bigger picture is you think that you're special and you have a unique he has a lot of money but it does exist that's not just culture uh that's just culture it's not 16 year olds yeah whatever but i'm talking about the culture here in america i think there's a lot of them there's enough yeah. of them for there to be a whole website i probably was muted too like that's really good okay. train offered uh 20 to 30 million and summit uh 10 million earlier on stream there you go you're saying that you would steal whenever you feel like there's a good opportunity so why maybe because you don't value good morals you're also saying that police should get you the reason why I don't steal things is because I don't have to. Stealing is a risk, and people, I, I don't want to put myself at risk for no reason. Uh, yeah. If you steal something, you can get arrested. It's the same. It, it's not like the exact one to one, but it's like RMT. Like all RMT on a game, I'm not super invested in, but I would never do it on a game I am. You know what I mean? Because it's like it, it's not worth getting a ban, a ban on it. You can get put in jail. Uh, you, you can get like a, you know, like a criminal record. So that's why I don't want to do that. Uh, that's yeah. the main reason. Yeah, they can shoot you, something like that. So I wouldn't want to steal because I could get in trouble or it could be uh, harmful to me on like a personal level. It's that simple. Yeah, but people are going to do it. Um, and that's why I think uh, online stealing, like, you know, not uh, stealing, like the term doesn't really matter, but yeah, like using um, Pirate Bay or Pirate Sites uh, in general, like is a lot more popular than actually stealing in real life because the consequences aren't anywhere near as uh, uh, bad.